This is the first meeting of these two teams in 143 days. The game is on. T.J. Brody walks it deep. Here comes Alex Kerfoot down to Carlo's corner. A rebound chopped out of the crease. Grizzly to Hall. Spezza, a crazy bounce off the corner glass. Spezza closes. A tip in front. And a score by Colin Blackwell. And also play the middle. That versatility helps you when you play with a team like Toronto. Boston just gets a miscommunication. These guys don't play a lot together when you talk about Connor Clifton and Matt Grizzly. They get a little crossed up right here on a possession play. Blackwell goes off that weak side post, and it's a nice little backhand redirect on the feed from Spencer. Charlie McAvoy. Pasternak leaves a dent in the post. McAvoy to Bergeron. Pasternak, hold! Pasternak gets the goal. It took a long seconds the importance of winning a faceoff to stop the power play and have that shot mentality Pasternak drifts out to the top of the circle right on the arc rips one off the crossbar they use the bumper to set up Bergeron Bergeron again sets up Pasternak for the one timer but he opts to fake it he's looking for Taylor Hall on that weak side on the backhand redirect but it gets deflected by Toronto of Hall with the icing, they had a steady, so we tried to take them on one-on-one. -on -one. John Tavares to William Nylander. Cuts right toward goal. Misses short side. And Riley pots the rebound over Swayman's shoulder. It's 2-1. Now the speed of William Nylander causes all kinds of problems for Boston. Again, come deep. Generate some speed. Nylander to the outside. Gets around Brandon Carlo. He tries to slide it back against the grain, and before Swayman can get back to the near post, the Leafs are going to pick up this puck below the goal line. Look like Tavares. Bergeron attacks the puck, and Blackwell, Marshawn, skips one in on Shalgren, who turns it aside. Labushkin, Marshawn robbed by Shalgren. Eric Hola swivels the backhand. Posternock hunting Hall. Alex Kerfoot with the break and scores. The quick strike offense of the Toronto Maple Leafs on display again. This time it's Alex Kerfoot who said it was dangerous to go shorthanded in the final three minutes of the period. Already down 2-1. They come out of that unscathed. But then the shot block by Kerfoot. That's a pretty good finish. Backhand, forehand, he convinced Swayman he was going backhand. Swayman's going to slide. Can't extend that right skate, right pad. Enough. Kerfoot, father man. Back to Lilligren. Kerfoot, low for... Mikheyev. Carlo flubs the pass. Austin Matthews closes the backhand. Wide stick side. Craig Smith. Pulls it back through Mitch Marner. Bunting sends Matthews ahead. Marner scores! 4-1 Leafs. Turnover again. Boston in the neutral zone. They can't execute with the puck. There's the pass in the skates by Smith to DeBrusque. The quick up by Bunting. Pretty pass by Austin Matthews, backhand. Tavares' one-timer doesn't happen. Marner loves the puck to control it. Matthews leaves the backhand. Matthews has his 49th goal of the season. Second chance opportunity. Marner's going to settle this puck down out at the blue line. 
And they just work it around side to side. Get a shot for purpose. There's your rebound. Matthews closes. The rebound finds him. He shelves it. 5-1 Leafs. Power play goal. Mikheyev back to Brody. Tees it up. Riley. Out of the crease by Forbert. Riley scores. Kopp on the tip in the slot. It's a season high six goals against Jeremy Swayman. Yeah, and I'm wondering if there's a penalty to Clifton. Uh... Just a quick little wrist shot by Riley. Somebody's got to get a piece of that. Looked like Kopp in the high slot again. Marshawn against Brody. Marshawn to the corner to DeBrusque. All the way around McAvoy. DeBrusque off his skate. I wonder if this is going to be reviewed for a distinct kicking motion. I don't know if he was trying to pass this puck to a teammate with his skate or just redirect it towards the goal. Yeah, that's not a, that's not enough of a distinct kicking motion for me, Jack. From, not from that distance. You are Let's allowed say. to angle your blade. Yeah, I, I think they'll kill they'll, they'll count out. Toronto brings out Ilya Mikheyev and Pierre Engvall. Hall tries the short side. The puck tumbles out of Shalgren's grasp. Curtis Lazar on TJ Brody. Brody's stick gets knocked out of his hands. Clifton off the end boards. Lazar punches it past Shalgren. 6-3 with about seven minutes to go. They move the puck through the neutral zone to get in. Good hustle right here by the fourth line. Nozick able to get it back to Clifton at the point. His shot is just wide on the short side, but the puck pursuit by Lazar. Stop, get to the front of the net, try to take away the goaltender's eyes. Track the puck, get a good bounce. Hall took the pass from Hall with speed going up the left side. He was able to send Clifton in down the right wing. Taylor Hall all the way in and scores! 6 4. They're not counting. Referee was waving it off as he came behind the Toronto goal. Let's see if we can see what happens here. Uh, that puck was live and good, and I don't think the fact that he makes contact with Shelburne deems that. Uh, you know, the There's goal no to goal the on the play due to incidental contact with the goal. <laughs> I guess that's what they did decide. I mean, it's the only thing it could have been. Wow. <laughs> that puck's already going through the legs yeah. of the goaltender. No, I don't see that at all, Jack. I don't believe it's impacted by that contact there. Referee felt it was. Bruins a challenger. After coach's challenge video reviewed, it's determined that there is no goaltender interference. Oh my goodness, what an upset. They were up 6-1 at one point, and the Bruins get the last three. But this one leaves a mark. Toronto 6, Boston 4 at TD Garden.